Okay, so, number three. You just said you have trust or faith supported by evidence. My contention is your faith is based off your book. And so far, the only thing that you've been able to show is something out of your book. But let's let you continue. Some of this evidence, uh, you really can't have access to it because it's my personal communion and connection to God. It's, it's a way that I think most people, most theists, feel that God is real in the best way in, in that they feel a personal connection. And, and you just stated it. Personal experiences don't mean shit unless you can repeat it and other people have that exact same experience okay the reality is your belief in your God is purely a personal experience everybody else's belief in God how they see God is personal just because you have a personal belief in a God does not make that God any more real than the people who believed in Zor, Thu, Z, um, in Thor, Zeus, pick a God, Mithra, Ra. Their belief in, their, in the, the reality of those God does not make them any more real. And in a couple hundred years, when people stop believing your God, your God will simply become a myth. Sorry to tell you. Just like all the other gods before it, it will go down as a myth. But you don't want to believe that, do you? Okay. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I take it you studied the apologetical argumentation. I have to presume that hopefully you carefully and honestly approach them without bias or contempt. The only bias I had when I started learning about the apologetics was I wanted to believe. I had a need, a want, and desire to believe. But the more I studied, and the more I started talking to leaders of other religions, other faiths, see, living in Los Angeles at that time, I happened to have access to religious leaders, religious people of all major faiths. Out in the valley, I to spend some time with some Buddhists. Okay? Um, I spent some time with some Imams, spent some time with some Jewish leaders of all different denominations. I spent time with um, Christian leaders of all different types of beliefs. And you know what I came to find? They all basically had the same thing. Have faith, read the book. I did spend my time due diligently, due diligently wandering around talking in about over about 15 years to religious people of all types. I talked to atheists, I talked to I talked to all kinds of theists, I talked to deists. I talked to people that believed that aliens were our overlords. Okay? I'm in, I was in the home of Scientology. I spoke to tons and tons of people. I know more about more, more, most faiths than most people care to know about. And the more I learned, the more I came to the realization there is no God. Prior to investigation. You see, this is the powerful part. If you put all your bias and contempt aside, when you consider the evidence, are you free of cognitive dissidence to the God idea? I wanted to believe. Truly. I did. But it didn't work. The more I studied, the more I talked, the more I saw. It took me 15 years of my life to come to this decision. And it didn't happen overnight. It was hard. The day that I came to the realization that God was not real, I cried like a madman cried like a little baby and I'm not ashamed to say that 
it was the hardest realization that I ever had to come up to come to in my life. It was damn tough to make that decision. I part of me still wants to believe, but the more I study and the more that I see people like you, the more it makes me resolve that there is no God. Because all you've got is have faith, read the book. That's it. Now, I'm going to go take a break. A couple hours, I'm going to come back. I'm going to do the f finish up this video. Because right now, I'm so pissed at you. So pissed at this whole concept. It's not worth my energy. So I'm going to go take a break. And I'll be back to do the rest of the video.